Oke, okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening everyone. We meet again at our third tutorials video about augmented reality. So in this video, we will try to talk in English. Why? Because English is cool, really really cool, and you have to try to talk English also. Okay? So please don't worry about my language and just try to follow as best as you can. Okay, so what we have here is we have uh, the Unity setup already. We have imported the package for Fuforia. So we have the standard uh, assets here. And what we have to do next to create a multiple target for augmented reality is that first of all, we just need to create the marker first. Okay, so this is the marker that we will try to create in the, our application. So two images with two different objects okay so what it is already uh, you already know this you have to go to the developer portal in Fourier, create a new target to both of this one in the single target manager uh, package okay and after that you just need to download the tab database choose the unity editor and download so while we are waiting for this one, the other the part that we have to do is that we also need to find some objects that we would like to insert to our application. So for this example, we have uh, human.fbx and gajahupdate.fbx. And how to create the fbx file, you can watch my second part of tutorial in augmented reality, okay? So, is it finished? Okay, we just need to save the target parts and after it have finished download, you can just double click it and it will automatically import to Unity. So, you just need to click on import. And then after that, don't forget also to import the sets for the 3D objects. Okay, so we have uh, animasi human and gajah update. Okay, so we import this one first, and then we import one more. Okay, and then the rest is already the same, just like what we did in the first tutorial. So first of all, I just change the scale of this object first. Apply. Ah, finished. Okay, now for the gajah. Gajah. Hidungnya panjang. Ah, it finished already. Okay. And now just the same, we delete the main camera first and then we choose from the Qualcomm Augmented Reality. I'm sorry. Prefabs, yeah, prefabs and choose AI camera. Track it into our, oh sorry, it should be in scene, okay. Track our camera first and also image target. Okay, now for this part. Okay, I'll just set the parameter first. Okay, so what the difference is that we just need to change these options in here. Q car behavior script, it will have maximum simultaneous image target. The default is one. It means that it don't. It can only detect one marker. So you just need to change this one. Maybe if you want uh, four markers with four different objects, you just change this to four. And what you need to do after that, just add more image target. Okay. And then. In image target one, you can split it like this one. Choose the data set, aplikasi fisika. This one should be it for kucing hitam, and the other image target, I'll make it the kucing. 
that's it okay I need to change the scale so that it match with the other okay okay just like this and then and then what you do okay you have to just put your object here oh where is it so small I need to change it first and change the scale so we can see the elephant there we go too big Okay, I just change the positions. Okay, I think it's good enough. And then the second part, what well, very big. I'll delete the plane here. I uh, I don't know what is it. Yes. And also change the position in the second model. Ah, oh, it disappeared also. Okay, it's also very small. There we go. Okay, I think this was done beautifully. Okay, now what you need to do is you just need to put the objects into its uh, appropriate image target. So, for this animation, animation human should be inside the this image target so i just put this one inside this image target and this gajah into this image target and change the camera accordingly okay and i think that this man is not where it's supposed to be okay uh wrong target okay okay everything looks good so, I already have the image target here. This one and this one. Okay. And don't forget to set the active data in the AR camera objects in this options. Data set load behavior. Make sure that you have checked the load data set, application of uh, physical, and activate. Okay, so we just try to run the, our applications. Hi there. Hmm. Okay, so I just put my kitty here and my unity over here. Okay, so we have the elephant and we change the picture and we'll have the human. Okay, and don't forget if your object is too dark, you can add likes in your games how to do that it's very simple just choose game object like and use the appropriate like you want i just use directional like and let there be like there you go okay and your object will be shine on okay and one more uh, things if you want to create an Android applications I don't think it is a good idea to create a video so I just put it also in this video here so there's all the uh, steps that you need to do to create an another activity in your augmented reality applications so i will send the link in uh, this video description and also in our edmodo class and you can try to uh, practice it so basically what you need to do is just you need to import objects created by created by unity and import it to eclipse or android studio and use it as a library and you need to create your own projects for the maybe splash screen uh, main menu or about screen or something like that okay so i hope uh, this video will help you and if you have any question just ask in that mode or email me 
Okay, so thank you and goodbye.